A quick disclaimer. Whenever I say the word montage jump, montage jump, <laughs> I mean rollout. What I'm trying to say is, I'm mainly saying montage jumps in the video because that's what I call them. But some people call them rollouts. So just a quick remind, just just a quick disclaimer: montage jumps equals rollouts, and rollouts equal montage jumps. Okay? All right. Whenever you play TF2, you always ask yourself, "What class will I play?" I mean, there's a few. There's the spy where he can disguise as the other team members trying to get that backstab, and then there's the demon who can send out sticky spammer trap to kill any players like a sniper, you know. And then there's his other trait where he's very drunk. <laughs> But then there's the soldier, the crazy American who loves to kill, and his ability to rock jump is amazing. And one day, when I was watching YouTube, I saw someone do a montage jump on Upward. A montage jump in TF2 is where you find a jump pattern on a map in TF2, and allows you to zoom across the map at a pretty good speed. But then I wondered, was there other ones in Upward? After a few hours of trying out many places, I conclude there are about six montage jumps. But two I'll cross out since I was never able to do them. So we'll be focusing on four. Two for each side. Alright. Here are the monta montage jumps of TF2. Payload upward. We shall start with the most common of the montage jumps, which I called Blue Hill Slide. It starts at the blue spawn, so this is jump for the blue team. Now, you need to jump off this wall right here next to the, en to the right entrance here. Then, when you rock jump here, go left and strafe a bit till you get here on this hill. Now, once you're here, you need to look directly down and shoot at your feet. This will allow you to pogo off this hill and gain speed. Then you just strafe towards the A checkpoint here. Now, the third jump is both the hardest and most important jump. Since you need to aim in a specific area in order to do the jump. Otherwise, you can't jump to the hill over there, which is where you need to do the final part. And you, the jump is ruined. You have to start all over, which is a bit of a long walk back to the start end. If you're playing a multiplayer, ooh -wee, you probably did. <laughs> However, if you do successfully do this jump, on you need to do is just pogo off the hill and boom you've done the blue hill pogo well, blue hill slide whatever and also for the final jump aka on the hill past uh, checkpoint a make sure you head low like near the bottom of the hill in order for you to gain speed to do, use your final rocket in order to gain height because if you do it near the top you still kind of successfully do the jump but you don't go high you go you don't get gain height you Gain speed and you bump into these rocks or fall off the edge, so make sure you aim in between the middle and the bottom part of the hill. Now I'm going to show you the footage two more times, one at 75% speed and then one at full so you can see how to do it. Alright, now that you have seen what the Blue Hill Slide is, let's move on to the next jump. The next one takes place on the hill where the previous rock jump took us, aka here, which is between checkpoint A and checkpoint B. Now this is a blue side jump, so reds, I'm sorry. Your jumps are coming soon though, I promise. Now. Once you're on the hill, look for the biggest rock, and then go to the left of it. Well, blue side left, because this is a blue jump. Now, once you're on the left side, you need to look for this dent, which is basically a dent in the rock, which is in the shape of a circle. Now, once you found it, this is where you want to shoot, and this is where we start the rock jump. Now, you want to shoot your rocket here, which is the best spot. And then we strafe to the left and go to the B checkpoint. And then we pogo off the ground. If you don't know what pogo is, a pogo in TF2 terms is a special ability, is something that goes along with the rocket jump. Which is when Soldier perfectly times a rocket that allows him to pogo off the ground in order for him to go further. Now, you need to pogo not once, not twice, 
but three times. One at the B checkpoint. Another one is actually at the top of this rail right here. And then you need to find one more for the final pogo, and then you're done. But however, I feel like there is a different way that you can go further from checkpoint B to possibly pass C. I'm not sure if it's possible, but whatever. Now, I'll explain it in a bit more detail. So once you've jumped up first, you need to pogo around the B checkpoint. And once you pogo there, go to this the top of this ramp over here. This is actually a very important ramp. I'll talk about it later. Now, you gotta pogo off here, and then pogo at the bottom in order to, for you to complete the jump. I know this doesn't really get us far, like, super far, but, hey, like I said, not all, well, not all these jumps are perfect, but this still can get you a good amount of distance. Here, here's a good example. Alright, so, wait, just jump here, then, over here, oh, wait, wait, what? What? What, what the, the fuck? fuck? Okay, then. So apparently there is another way where you can actually slide. Good to know. So instead of pogoing towards this rail, you can actually go to the side here and there's this small ledge that you can slide up in order to go further. But this is very hard to do. I tried to do this multiple times afterward and I couldn't do it again. <laughs> uh, mistakes are made. But yeah, don't ask me how I did it. I don't know. Now, now just like the previous jump, I'm going to show you the replay in both slow and 75% speed and then normal speed so you can get a better glimpse of how to do it, including the mistake I made. And any add-ons is, um, well, really that's not much. I don't really have anything else to add to this jump. But I do. This is Future Black I'm speaking. This is made while I'm editing this. So I'm actually going to show you three different jumps. One was the first one where you stopped below checkpoint C. The second one is when you go to the right of the, ra the rail ramp thing. But the third one is actually me making it past checkpoint C. There is a way to do it, but it's very difficult. Now, based on a name, you may say, oh, there's three jumps, but why am I doing the third one first? No, this jump takes place at checkpoint C. That's why I'm calling it Red Rail Jump C. Anyway, this is where you start. You see this wall right here? This is where you want to jump. But then you may think, oh, what about here? Well, maybe, but definitely not. Because it's a bit harder to do a second jump if you do it from there. So just do it from here. Now, what you want to do is jump from here to the rail ramp over there. Recognize it? Yeah, it was in the previous jump. But you need to get to the bottom of it in order to do this jump amazingly. So here's a tip. When you're jumping from here, aim your rocket a bit up or directly in front of you. This will increase your chances of reaching the bottom greatly since we're not looking for height. So we don't need to aim down or else this will ruin the jump. Thankfully, it's not a walk back if you accidentally do it. And also straight left. At the start, until you see you have aligned with the ramp. Now, the second jump, it's pretty easy. Just pogo at the bottom, then boom. You're done. The reason why it is for speed. We need it. We need it. And a side note, make sure you strafe to the right. This is so you have a better chance of doing a jump. Now, the third jump is easy. If you know to pogo, just pogo off the ground. Then aim here to this hill where there's rails. Or a rail hill. Now... There's actually two possibilities you can do this. 
And also, but before I explain the two possibilities, I need to explain two things that can ruin the jump. One is which this platform here, which can easily, which is easy to avoid, but the stairs are at the top, so to to the hill up to the right. So I suggest straight left a little, but not too far away. Well, why? Reason number two, this thing. I don't, I'm pretty sure it's a wall. I don't know what the, these things are, but these will ruin your shit up if you don't avoid them. So you need to be in the middle of the hill. All right, good. Now, once you've done the third part, the final part is, well, has two options. That's what I meant by two possibilities. You know what I meant. You have two choices on your based on your speed and positioning. If you're not going fast and falling near the bottom pogo at the bottom to go up the ramp. So, what I'm trying to say is, if you don't have much speed, then pogo at the bottom of the ramp in order to gain speed in order to do the jump. However, if you have a good amount of speed and your positioning is perfect, you don't need to pogo at the bottom of the ramp. You can pogo at the top to go in even further distance. Trust me, I've done it before. It's pretty easy. And it's best to be in the middle, of course. Speeding in the middle of the ramp, well, yeah, that's basically it. Now, once again, I will show the clip in 70, at 75% for both jumps, because there's two. One that you, you go, you make it, and then one you just yeet across the map. jump the red rail jump B this is the final jump I know you can do and by the name it takes place on checkpoint boy wait <laughs> did, I, did I just say checkpoints <laughs> I meant checkpoint not checkpoint <laughs> why did I say that anyways it takes place on checkpoint B, and you start here on this wall, next to this rock. Now, quick note, jump from here, not here. Why? Well, it's easier to do to jump from here, and you won't hit, and you have a lower possibility of hitting the obstacles, which are the same obstacles from the previous jump. This platform, and whatever the f*** this is, these obstacles are really just a pain in your ass if you hit them. God, I've messed up so many monster jumps after I hit those. But thankfully, if you do it from back here, you have a very low possibility of actually hitting one. Now, once you shoot your first rocket here, you need to then shoot your rocket at the bottom in order to gain speed. Because that's important. Then you slide up, and then you can go further to here. To, you see this like little bump? I'm calling this the mini hill. Then you need to go to this mini hill and pogo off once again. But Or you can do it before you go off the real hill. You know, the thing you just pull it off of, like, you know, this. You can either, you can shoot one, like, about here, and you'll still be fine, but if you want to go for distance, shoot it at the hill. But now, this is where things get interesting. Like the last jump, you have a choice. Except, it's not based on speed. It's based by your choosing. You can go left, which will probably be the easier way to do the montage jump. However, though, you won't get much distance, which is sad but right however is much harder to do i've only done that one to be honest three times but you will get a massive amount like di of distance like massive like holy shit all right now here's a clip of me going left and right both at 75 percent and then at full left is first right is next
say, oh, you're done. You've done your four jumps, right? Not yet. I want to mention one more thing, which I call connection jumps. So, you might be asking... Blacko, what the f*** are connection jumps? Allow me to explain. Connection jumps are defined as a montage jump connected to another montage jump, or a rollout connected to another rollout. Whatever. What matters is that they're connected. The best example is actually Red Rail Jump C and Red Rail Jump B. If you notice, the third and fourth jump of Red Rail Jump C are the technically the first and second and possibly third one of Red Rail Jump B. If you notice, you go up the same ramp, which means they're connected. So this is what I mean. Instead of going up the ramp of Red Rail Jump C, you can actually stop, reload your rockets, then do the one at Red Rail Jump B in order to go further. Same thing for the blue team. The red hill, the blue, the fuck, the blue hill slide allows you to go up onto this hill, which is where the rock, blue rocky rail jump takes place. These jumps are connected, and that's what's defined as connection jumps. Mon two, mo two or multiple montage jumps that are connected together. And now it's time to talk about possible jumps. Jumps I could not complete, but I do believe are possible. Now, these jumps are what I believe could be possible jumps, but I couldn't get the footage to prove it, aka I couldn't do the jump. But these could be possible, you may need to try to discover this on your own, so I'm just going to explain what I know. And if you remember, I said there were six jumps, but I didn't complete two, so I'm going to talk about those two. The first one is near Red Rail Jump C, where actually, it is a thing, I think. Instead of going from the wall here, you go to the wall here, and then you try to do some pogo shit, which I couldn't figure out. But I believe this is just a bit, a different way to do the jump, the Red Rail Jump C. Yeah. I guess it is. But you can definitely still get some distance. Now one that I know that nobody has heard of, but is possible. Guess what? It's on, it's actually on the other side of the start of Blue Hill Slide Jump. Am I saying poo? Or huh? Well, let me explain. Legit, you know where you jump off, aka You remember those like little skits I did at the beginning where I showed you the spy no man? Remember where the spy was? That's where the jump takes place. You jump off of the wall here, or the fences here, and then you try to go up this wooden ramp. Now, I tried this many times, and I have failed many times trying to go a very far distance. You can definitely slide up it, but I don't think you can be able to make this a montage jump. Maybe if you jump from the fence, then poke off, then slide up the ramp, and then poke off the ramp, and then go to the left. I just realized, these are different ways to do jumps that are previously mentioned. Huh. No, that's actually it. The r red one I didn't do is connected to Red Rail Jump C, and the one I just talked about, which we're calling Blue Alley Jump, is right next to Blue Hillslide Jump. Well, I guess these are more connection jumps. Who knew? <laughs> Alright. Let's just end the video already. Alright, those are all the jumps I know that you can or could do on TF2 Upward. Now, the video I watched of me dis just deciding to make this video was Today I Learned the PL underscore Upward Rollout by Haja Hamad. How do I say this? Hamaji Neo. That works. And I know this video isn't good, so if anybody wants to go, wants to make this better or discover more jumps, because let's be honest, some of my content is, content is definitely shit. I said that to myself, oh god. 
then go right ahead as long as you put my put the original video aka this video in the description so at least i know you didn't copyright you know didn't steal this idea and for the person who actually i want to make a redo of this video is soundsmith this is perfect with him because if you see in all the clips i'm using the rock jumper this is perfect for soldier shenanigans soundsmith notice me use this knowledge use this to help you but yes, if you actually want to learn Trollger, I'll put one of his videos, which is the basics of learning Trollger. And actually, I watched that video, and after, like, a few days of watching it over and over again, I actually decided to do some Trollger, and I'm actually really good as Trollger. Like, really good. No, I'm just good. Not really good. But yeah. And also, this was my first, really, non-gaming video. This is my first time ever doing, like, a record footage then put your microphone in later situation this is weird and yes i did write write a script for this my nose is clogged <laughs> oh god this took so long to make like this was originally i think edited this like the start of this happened like on may 7th and it's june 6th while recording well my, the recording the audio. Oh god. I need to do more fun. But yeah, if you want to see more videos like this, then I'll gladly do it as long as you guys think it's okay. Anyways, that's all for this time, my fun time fans. Hope you enjoyed the content. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, my fun time fans.